Hi, good morning. I'm Miss Watkins, and I'll be helping Mrs. Lambert with registration this morning. And I am a counselor at Sam Rayburn as well. I help students whose last names begin with F and G. I work with students whose last names begin with the letters A, B, and the letters B, I through Z. We're super excited to be helping you today as we register and prepare for your senior year. That's right. Congratulations. You know, you've put forth three years of really hard work. We know that, and we want to just take a minute to congratulate you. Hopefully, all that hard work is going to pay off, and you're going to have a very rewarding and fun senior year. So let's get started with 12th grade registration. Let's first make sure that you are going to be classified as a senior next year. If you look on your academic plan under graduation credits, you'll see a current count of the credits that you have. This student right now has 21 of the 26 credits required for graduation. In addition, this student is currently enrolled in three and a half other credits. So you can already tell this is a student who's going to be in great shape for their senior year. Take a quick moment to glance at the number of credits that you've completed and make sure that by the end of the year, you will have reached 16 credits, which is the number of credits required to be classified as a 12th grader. If by the end of the year you have not completed 16 credits, you will not be in a senior homeroom next year. Another important thing to remember as you look at your academic plan is that as a senior, you should have more green areas and sections on your academic plan than you do red. In the first example that Mrs. Lambert showed you, this student has exactly the amount of credits that they need plus more, so therefore all the areas are green in electives, in language, in PE, in fine arts, health, tech applications, and speech. Now, if you do have an academic plan that does not have as much green as you would like, you will be read in elective areas. You still have credits to gain in PE, and you still have credits to gain in language. And when you get to your counselor, they will be able to help you with that. However, if you've not taken any PE, then you need to go ahead and mark PE down as one of the classes you want to enroll in, in next, for next year. And also, you'll need to look at your languages and your electives, and we'll continue guiding you through how to figure that out. Awesome. Another thing I'd like to ask for you to do is to look at your academic plan and see if you have any grayed out areas. Grayed out areas may be classes that you took, but you didn't pass the class, so you don't currently have credit for that class. Another thing that you might notice are NCs, which tells us that you have no credit for the class. That's based on absences. So if there's a chance you can recapture that credit by doing makeup time, we highly encourage you and suggest that you begin getting those makeup hours in after school, before school, with your teachers. If you owe a large number of makeup time, you may want to get with your counselor just for some ideas for how you're going to be able to meet those requirements so you can recapture these credits and have a great senior year. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you about is we're going to begin the registration process. So you should have received from your lead teacher both an academic plan and a 12th grade registration card. Pull out that 12th grade registration card for just a minute. Go ahead and write your student name and ID number. Every student who's a senior in the state of Texas must complete through Algebra 2. So if you'll refer back to your academic plan, you'll need to make sure that you have completed Algebra 2 and have credit for that class. If you've not yet taken Algebra 2, that will be the math class that you'll take as a senior. So here on our chart, on your registration card, you'll notice that it says Math Choice. I'm going to go ahead and ask you first to write the course number for Algebra 2. If you look here in the Math Options, you can see that the course number for Math Algebra 2 is 125135. So you'll write that here in the spot the course number, which is 125135, and then the course name, which is Algebra 2. If you have completed Algebra 2 and you have credit for it, then you're good to go. You will need to choose a fourth math class. So again, refer back to the box that discusses your math options. You'll want to choose one of the math classes listed and make sure you write that in as a math choice. Go ahead and do that now. The next thing I'd like for you to look at is your science choice. Every student in the state of Texas must complete four sciences 
and you must complete physics. So look at your academic plan under the area of science. If you have not completed physics, then physics will be your fourth science choice. So right here where it says science choice, you're going to write the number for physics. That number is 127305, and then you'll write the course name physics. Options box on your registration card, you'll see the options that are available to meet this requirement. Go ahead and choose your science course and complete the boxes now. Okay, now that your math and science choices are complete, let's go ahead and look at what other credits you may need to, in order to be ready to graduate at the end of next school year. First of all, we wanna make sure that you have four core classes completed. You do need four classes of English, four classes of math, four classes of science. Okay, so now let's look at your elective section. If you are a senior, many of you will already have all green under the elective section of your academic plan. However, some of you will not. And as a senior, you get to enjoy some different luxuries that other students in the school building may not enjoy. So I'm gonna walk you through that. If you look under the elective section of your academic plan, you will see that that's where classes like art or dance or business can go. If you're an athlete and you've played basketball, even though there's not a course number necessarily on your sheet for basketball, you'll write boys basketball in the course name on your registration sheet or girls basketball, softball, football, dance, whatever as one of your electives. Remember that we will not know that you're currently in an elective class, so if you want to continue taking that class, it's very important that you write it as one of the electives on your sheet. Also, let's talk about foreign languages. Every student has to have two years of the same foreign language. So if you're in German 1 right now, or if you're in Spanish 1, or if you're in French 1 right now, your only option would be the second part of that same language, so you'll need to write that down under your electives as well. Also, let's talk about your tech applications credit, which you'll find on your academic plan at the very bottom in the middle. You have a little bit of freedom on your tech credit because you can mix and match classes for your tech credit. Basically, anything that begins with the numbers 1 and 6 as a course number, that will count as a tech credit. Exactly. For instance, if you took um, principles of hospitality and tourism and you're interested in taking culinary arts next year, you can absolutely do that because you've already completed the class that you need to complete before you do culinary arts. And culinary arts is just the cooking class that many students enjoy here on campus. The other heading that I want to make sure that we look at together is fine arts. Fine arts classes are dance classes, art classes, band, choir, orchestra, theater arts, or technical theater. So if you don't have any fine arts credits, make sure that you choose carefully because that's what you'll have to take for the full year next year. And your counselors will be able to tell you a little bit more about that as you register for classes today. Awesome. Questions. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Watkins. Ms. Watkins has talked to you about languages, fine arts, and technology. Let me talk to you for just a minute about PE. If you've not yet completed your PE credit, you put that off till your senior year, we will put that in your schedule for next year. So go ahead and write PE as one of your four choices. Also, let's check health and speech. Many of you completed these classes in junior high. That's what the J that you see indicated on this academic plan stands for. Now, a lot of students tell us that they plan to take those classes in the summer, and that's definitely an option. But we'll go ahead and put those classes in your schedule until we receive word from you or from the grade report from summer school that you've successfully completed those classes. So if they're not on your academic plan right now, go ahead and write those on your 12th grade course registration guide and we'll make sure we get those in the planning calendar. If you complete those in summer school, that's awesome. We'll pull those out of your schedule and talk about an alternative class that you can take. Now, a lot of seniors really have taken care of their credits, like this example of the academic plan. This student really only needs her four core classes. Seniors have the opportunities to take one or two off periods. You have the privilege of having off periods. 
That means you cannot come to school first period. You can leave school early and not have ninth period, or you can have first and second period off. If you'd like to talk to your counselor about an off period, go ahead and write that now. You can just write it in the course name here on your 12th grade registration card. So two off periods can take two of those spots, but then go ahead and make sure you've completed every requirement. If you haven't, those should be included. If you've taken care of everything, then choose two electives. If you're interested in working as an office aide, that's a class that doesn't give you credit, but it is a great help and a great contribution here at Sam Rayburn High School. Talk to your counselor about that as well, and you can definitely write office aide or office worker in these spots to, to make sure you remember to talk to your counselor about that. So we think by this time you should have your schedule for next year mostly figured out. That's the purpose of this video, your academic plan, and the 12th grade registration card. If you have any questions, now would be a great time to ask a classmate or your, the teacher that's with you guys right now. They may be able to help you or fill in any blanks or help you with anything that you've missed. Counselors are going to be available in a few minutes as your teacher takes you to actual registration. Counselors will be available to help you if there's anything that you missed or any questions that you have or if your academic plan looks like it might be a special circumstance. However, before you go to see your counselors, we would like you to have four choices listed for your elective courses or the required credits that are remaining for graduation. Your math choice should be completed and your science choice should be completed. So make sure before you go into registration to see your counselors that this portion of your 12th grade registration card is completely filled in. Also, make sure you've included your name and ID number, as Mrs. Lambert said, legibly so that we'll be able to help you quickly and efficiently. We'll see you soon. We're very proud of you and we look forward to helping you register. Have a great day.